Little did I know that day, as the ninth grade gangly looking students strolled into the advisory class, that my life would forever be changed by one student. For anyone in education for any length of time, know that there are certain names that you would never name your children. For me, Aaron was one of those names. Mr. Zentz came into the classroom that day, popping jokes, talking out of turn, and getting on my last nerve. Arriving home that day, the conversation went something like this. And James, there is this student in the class named Aaron Zentz. He is going to eat my lunch. A year later, my husband and I began attending a new church. We immediately became fast friends with David and Tracy. We didn't know their last names, but we sure enjoyed their friendship at our new church home. Weeks went by and our friendship grew. During an evening service at Discovery Church, a scruffy, blonde-headed teen caught my eye as he strolled down the main aisle. Jabbing my husband in the side, I explained in my best church whisper, James, that's Aaron Zintz. Keeping an eye on my classroom menaces, my jaw fell to the floor as Aaron parked himself next to David and Tracy. David and Tracy Zentz? Oh, my Lord, I thought to myself, you do have a sense of humor, Lord. A new respect was developed that day. Mr. Zentz entered advisory class that following week carrying a different attitude, or was it that my perspective had changed? Over the course of the next two years, a relationship developed between Aaron and my husband, James. Oddly enough, they were best friends. I looked forward to advisory class every week, knowing that the usual spar of interaction between Aaron and myself would take place. Some students commented, Man, Mrs. Klingerman, you are getting good at your comebacks with Aaron. Aaron had become a son that we never had. On May 21st, 